out there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Coldfire and today I'm bringing you the next recording by the legendary Patsy Cline and this one is called Half As Much featuring the extraordinary the Jordanaires and this song is um, I remember that this was in the trailer for the movie Sweet Dreams and that's how I got to know about it. Um, but it actually wasn't on the Sweet Dream soundtrack for some reason. Oh, yes, it was. It was on the soundtrack. And I couldn't remember because she didn't sing it in the movie. Or Jessica Lang didn't lip sync it in the movie. But I do remember, I was like, where, where did it come from? So then I found the trailer online. And it plays the song half as much. So that's why I was included in the soundtrack. But anyways... This is her moving on up the ladder. Um, she's trying to finish up uh, these last few recordings before she heads to Vegas because uh, I believe that she went out there in November of 1962. So I'm trying to finish up the ones before she goes to Vegas and becomes the first female country singer to headline Vegas. Without further ado, here's Half As Much. And I believe that this song was done by Hank Williams Sr. But I could be wrong. You could tell me in the comments. If you loved me half as much as I love you, you wouldn't worry me half as much as you do. You're nice to me when there's no Always absolutely extraordinary. She never lets you down with a song. Such a beautiful song. And it's just almost like for a second there I could just feel like I was right there in the recording studio with her. And you could just, I could just almost hear her with her red lipstick, you know, you know, sighing those words out to us, you know, because, um, in case you don't know, Patsy always cried when she sang because she felt what she was singing in her heart. And that's why it conveys to generations of people, even since it's been so long since she's been gone, she still conveys to a lot of other artists 
and they can feel that. It, it's like she's singing right directly for you and only you. And, you know, a lot of people say that, um, why did she always sing about sad songs? Well, sad songs are in pop music and everything else. It's just the, it's just the tempo of how you want to play it. But most of them are about leaving uh, someone or breaking up or marriage ending or something going wrong in the relationship. But I guess the important take away from this is... Back then, women weren't supposed to talk about their feelings. That was the important thing that a lot of people forget when they hear her. Like a younger pe younger people today, when they listen to her, they're like, "Why is her music? It's beautiful, but why did why couldn't she sing about more happier stuff?" Well, you have to remember in the fifties and sixties, and even into the seventies, and probably still today. Women are, not, are were taught not to express their loneliness, their sadness, their grief, or anything like that. They were supposed to be the cheerful housewife that stayed at home and enjoyed cooking and cleaning and sitting around the house all day long, doing everything and having dinner on the table for the husband when he came in the door. The children were all in bed and everything was a happy life. And there was nothing said. The guy went out. He supposedly worked really hard. But they also don't understand that a woman's job at the house back then was just as hard. I mean, you try to run a house and it's, it's two full-time jobs. But she was conveying messages that other women out there could relate to that weren't able to express their feelings. And that's why she was, you know one of the biggest country icons there was because especially in country music um, it was so stereotypical for feelings not to be expressed by women but that was the main message I wanted to tell you but enough about that I hope that you enjoyed this song I hope you enjoyed uh, Patsy Cline's unique voice that can never ever be duplicated um, unless she comes back to us which I wish she could but that was the one and only Patsy Cline, half as much, and I enjoyed reacting to this video, and I hope that you enjoyed my reaction to this video. Thank you. Have a great day. Remember to love, respect, and treat everyone the same out there in this crazy, crazy world that we're living in. Love you. Mm -hmm.